individual. All of your enemies, we talk about demons, people, relatives, strangers, co-workers, there is an army of people around you that had all this time to destroy you. I told you before, I'll say it again, everything begins in the spirit realm. And the way it works in the spirit realm, there has to be permission given to do certain things to chosen ones. If you truly are chosen by the Most High, you have a seal on you. Do you hear me? People don't understand when they mess with you, they're playing with fire. Real talk, no cap. People are playing with fire when they mess with you because they don't understand. They're looking at you as just, they think you're just some basic person or they think they're better than you or whatever they got going through their mind. But they don't understand from a spiritual perspective, you have a favor from the most high that he doesn't give to everybody. Are you hearing me? And because you have that, you have had to go through the most severe test and you passed. You're not bitter. You got better. You're not hateful. You still show love to people. You didn't become callous, but you're still demonstrating the, the signs of an empath. You still have this care and concern for other people. You still have the ability to get into other people's bodies, so to speak, not literally, and feel what they feel, think what they think, and have that compassion or love and action that a person who hasn't passed this test just can't do. So their time to destroy you, it has expired. That time is over. What they got away with in the past, it's over. The way they shamed you in the past, it's over. The power they thought they had over you or the sabotage they tried to launch against you, at times purposefully putting other people ahead of you, trying to make you look less than someone who is definitely less capable than you. All of the games people play to push you to the side, that is over. You pass the test. And so what I'm going to say, and I want you to receive this within the next, we're not talking about no two, three years now, within four months, a lot of you listening to me are going to see a significant change. Some of you are going to get some checks in the mail. I want you to receive that. Okay. Receive what I'm saying to you. Some of you got some checks in the mail. Some of you are about to get some phone calls and get invited to some important events. All the work that you have been putting in for years. Some of you have been in this five, 10, 15 years working, trusting God, doing what you know to be the best thing to do. And you pass the test. Your humility, your suffering, your affliction, it has made you better, it has made you stronger, it has made you wiser. And this is why our army of people is getting around you right now. There, there is an audience being prepared right in front of you right now, because often what the most I would do is prepare a table before the presence of your enemies. There are people watching you. Some of you are getting relatives following on social media who you haven't talked to since you were 12 years old. I had some relatives recently reach out to me. I haven't, I haven't seen them. We haven't talked since I was a, a shorty. We're talking 13, 14 years old. And I say it's necessarily a bad thing, but what's happening is there's a shift. You've passed something. There's something that has already been released in the spirit realm. It has been released. And it hasn't quite yet manifest or been revealed. Manifest means to reveal. It hasn't been revealed in the natural yet. So it's happening in the spirit. And so it's only a matter of time now before it reaches the natural. And you're right now with that transition between um, the test you've been through and really receiving the promise that belongs to you. You're the one who God has chosen. Okay, You are chosen to lead the next generation of young people. Let me speak to you. You are chosen to start that business. You are chosen to become the first millionaire in your family. Many of you right now are about to begin to experience what it really means to be chosen and why you have been through so many tests. You say, why do you use the word chosen one? Well, it's this simple to me. Many are called, few are chosen. Few choose to really answer the call. Only a few pass the test. Many people get called, but only a few pass the test. Only a few can stand the test of time. This is what knocks a lot of people out. Most people want stuff overnight. It doesn't work that way. It takes years to get where you're trying to go. So I'm talking to people who, this ain't, this ain't no rookie conversation. I'm talking to people, I'm talking to my gorillas. I'm talking to my spiritual gorillas who've been fighting for five, ten years, going through wars, breaking curses, seeing breakthrough, losing relationships, cutting people off, going through some hard tests, facing that embarrassment at times. It's just going through. And now is your time to receive what you have worked for. That's what I'm talking to today. People want it so bad to be right about you. <laughs> they wanted you to be nothing. It, and I'm laughing because that's crazy when you think about it. People wanted you to fail. 
And, and this is why you feel those weird vibes when they are around. What you're feeling is not weird. You're feeling jealousy. You're feeling hate. You're feeling sabotage. You're feeling their projection of their perception onto you. That's what you're feeling. And many times people will do this because your light, it makes them feel some type of way. And so they got to do their best to try to dim your light and to try to stop what you got going on. And a lot of people, they fail the test and they go on the dark side. Because if I'm talking to you, you have experienced a lot of cruelty. Real talk, people have just been cruel to you, disrespectful, you know what I mean? Not wanting to honor nothing you got going on. Jealous of whatever victory you got coming your way. You know what I mean? Just being just weird. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how, I don't know how to put this. Just being weirdos about you. You know what I'm saying? Not liking you. Minimizing all of your accomplishments. Mad because you got a pretty woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mad because you got a house. Mad because you figured some stuff out. And now they want to come around and sabotage you. And it has not worked. It's over. You stayed in there. You stayed strong. You continue to work on yourself. You continue to read. You know what I mean? You got around the right people. Some of you have made the decision to move to different states. You got away from those hometown spirits. You've made a lot of tough decisions. You you went through the loneliness. Let me talk to you now. You know, you went through that adversity. You went through those times of financial drought. Okay? Let me talk to you. Big bro, have to go through some droughts. Lil Wayne is the only one who had a drought. Remember Lil Wayne's series called The Drought? <laughs> okay, I had to go through a drought. You always go through a drought, by the way, when you leave a familiar place to go to new territory. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. This big bro, you know how I'm coming. I'm talking to you. You will always face a drought. Listen to your big bro. Sis, my boy, you're going to face a drought. And that drought may last anywhere from one to five years when you have enough courage to leave a dead place and to go to new territory. Going to new territory, it's a journey. And I, this is what I know from my own life. When you leave familiarity or familiar spirits, curses, wicked people, haters, all that stuff, familiar spirits, hometown spirits, you leave all of that and you make a decision to go into new territory, entrepreneurship, trying to become the first millionaire in your family, trying to get to the NFL and talk to you now, trying to become the first lawyer in your family, whatever it is you're trying to do that's going to make you great. There's going to be a very uncomfortable transition, a.k.a. humiliation ritual. That's what it feels like. And I know that this is something that's used in secret societies, but I use this terminology to make a point clear. It's almost like you're going through this ritual. And it's not the same as what you would see with the secret societies. But what I'm saying is I'm using this as a, a way to teach a very deep, deep uh